Everything is inverted. Everything. The surface of Earth curves upwards, not downwards. Even the modern peace symbol is upside down from the original life rune. The current sign is the inversion of the life rune, the death rune. Concepts like up, would actually be inward, and down would be outward. There's too much to list here, but think about all the ways this life has been inverted by modern culture and the agendas of society. It's incredible, one step at a time the entire human psyche is being rewritten and scripted with a different perception of the world. The theory of heliocentrism goes way beyond flying balls in space around a central nuclear furnace, it's the first step in walking towards a new paradigm. Heliocentric cosmology is ultimately connected to Big Bang cosmogony. Big Bang cosmogony is connected to the theory of evolution through the extrapolation of the understood micro world of genes and cells into the unknown macro world of stars and planets. The entire system is inverted to produce a perception, that then dictates the perspective of the human psyche. It's a system of dead matter and dead consciousness, as they claim consciousness is merely a product of the brain, which they say is dead matter itself. Once the person sees the alleged connection between the electron's orbit around an atom and the planetary orbits around the sun, it makes the lie that much more believable. Because inherently we all know the truth, we've just forgotten. So when someone approaches you with a fractal model of reality disguised as a jumbled, random mess of particles bumping into each other, it doesn't necessarily throw up any red flags. The universe is fractal, it is self-similar across different scales, but that does not mean planets orbit stars in the same way as electrons orbit atoms. Electrons don't actually orbit atoms, and in the same way, planets do not actually orbit stars. But you've been led to think this way and you may not notice anything wrong with it, since your subconscious sees a fractal reality beneath the story your consciousness is telling you about electron particles and extraterrestrial planets. So, in order to shift your paradigm you must first realize that your current paradigm is flawed, not wrong per se, eh? flawed. Electrons are not billiard balls in orbit around a nucleus. Planets are not large spheres in orbit around a sun. It may be difficult to find out what something is, but it's easier when you already know what something is not. If we look at the data, it becomes clear that the sky moves, Earth itself does not, and this is another inversion. Some say, let's assume the ground beneath our feet is moving when we look up and see the sky above us moving. But you do not need to assume the opposite of your experience, you don't have to invert your experience into a hypothetical environment that cannot be proven. Many, many scientists have worked very diligently to measure the motion of the Earth beneath our feet, and have never found it. What do they find? More and more ways to measure the motion of the sky above us. George Airy, Mitchelson and the Morley, Leon Foucault, Irat Osthens, Seth Carlo Chandler, etc. Not one scientist can measure the motion of the Earth. It's the motion of the sky that's being observed, and if you or I took measurements of A and said it was the motion of B, we would be laughed at, deemed illogical and untrustworthy and no one would listen. But somehow, society has convinced people that when someone has a PhD at the end of their name, they can take measurements of the motion of the sky above and pass it off as the assumed motion of the ground beneath. This is the oldest inversion, dating back as far as ancient Greece. For a long time people understood their experience for what it was and didn't assume the opposite of what they experienced to be true, they took their experience as truth itself. Truth is the underlying foundation for any subjective experience, but by opposing the objective truth with the subjective truth society has turned the known into the unknown, and the illogical into the logical approach to the world.